Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we are talking about an NTC, negative temperature coefficient. What is this? I will show you. It's a little tiny thing and this little tiny thing looking like that. Huh? This is a resistor huh? and this resistor is made of some special material. It's made of semiconductor in this case, and it's temperature dependent. Uh, let's see if I can manage to measure this here. I put it in here, turn on my, my multimeter, uh, try to measure the resistance 7, what is this? This cannot be true. 10k, 9, 9.7k. Now I'm touching it, it's getting warmer, and you see it's dropping, the resistance is dropping. So the resistance is somehow reflecting the temperature. If I'm releasing it again, yeah, it is rising again because it's cooling now. Okay. This is an NTC, negative temperature coefficient. This just means the hotter it is getting, yeah, the less the, the resistance is. Okay. Negative rising temperature, lower resistance, negative temperature coefficient. This half, the semiconductors, semiconductors, they are not very um, linear. Okay. So it's not like one degree is exactly that and that amount of, of resistance. It is strongly not linear. This means if they are pr pretty cold, the resistance change is pretty high. If they are already pretty hot, the resistance change is already low. Yeah, there is a certain characteristic of this. This is pretty not linear. However, we could measure temperature with it. If we somehow manage to find a relation between resistance value and temperature, yeah? this we can do because we know what material this is. Yeah? We can make it like that. Yeah? We're using a second resistor, yeah? a fixed resistor. This is a 10K resistor in this case. Yeah? Then on one side we plug in 5 volts. Yeah? On the other side, we plug in ground, so we know the difference between here and here. These are 5 volts. Yeah? And at the middle position, I will connect to our analog input. Here I have a variable voltage. I just need to measure variable voltage. We have done this several times already. Yeah? So we will, in next video, we will then try to measure temperature with the help of our Arduino. Yeah? Uh, connecting ground, connecting plus, uh, connecting this to analog input. Uh, and now the hardware setup should already be done. Uh, so with this thing, we should be able to measure the temperature of our NTC. This is what an NTC does. Next video then, program it. Huh? Measure the real temperature and print it out somewhere. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.